this is the Rosenthal Slitter. This is the Genesis. I can provide a link on my description of the item uh, and size that I purchased from them. They also have a different domain called smartleaders.com. And actually I found this company on an expo here in Atlanta and they were the option made in America. I'm proud of made in America. Product. The other company that I found on this expo was Robert International. So basically, uh, they were competing one to, in, to each other uh, for this order. And I'm thinking right now that they were my best option at this point. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This is the invoice price of this machine. You have uh, two options of blades. Uh, this is one that is uh, very narrow, so it's narrow in the middle. The other one, it's narrow on the side. That's the one we got. This is a brand new Rosenthal Slitter G862, brand new. We are having some issues with the printer, with the slider. Um, it's literally, I mean, as you can see, the quality is not that good. We got the legs uh, on chipping and they came out this way. Over spray on the coating. The coating everywhere is not even. You can see like some details and defects on how they make them. This part, uh, I think was chipped and this, lever was not locked and I think it was hitting the piece of metal until it damaged the paint. You see these details right here. Not good. Since I bought it, I got all kind of issues. First, and uh, you need to know this, um, they don't come with a cable. So when I got it here, we had nothing connected to the machine. So you need to figure out what to do. I got a manual. The manual didn't explain anything until I called and they explained me that I need to do a connection. And this is the electrical they sent me to do the electrical installation. As you see the name here, Alan Bradley controller, and it's not what it came with. It came with a Chinese, Korean, I guess, uh, LS S100 control. So basically from $1,600 control to a, maybe $300, $400 control. So that's a big change. Uh, later, I got the plant floor and I contract my electrician to get this connected on a 220 connection. It is going to the panel. And this is what we got. This is how we connect it. Not just that, um, after we put it to work, let me show you what the problems we're getting in. Um, actually this uh, emergency stop doesn't work. It's uh, I think one problem here on the switch or might be here on the controller that is not programmed correctly. And looks like it is working backwards compared to, you know, to the normal use. So to make this machine to work, we had to unplug the switch. So we have no, no, um, no emergency stop. After we figured out how to make it work, uh, 
we found many issues on this too. Notice the cut of this control. This is like, come on, not really good. How about this? You barely can see the numbers, the letters. It's supposed to be something to the shape of the, the controller that is underneath. Right here, you don't know whether it's manual or auto. So we kind of have to figure it out, but since we had it, uh, we have an issue trying to turn it on, that was impossible. Even the mandrel direction here, there's no signal to know exactly where you're going. So yeah, I think they have some problems with, with you know, with how, how to, you know, give you directions what every control is doing. And um, we are waiting. Uh, so possibly support are going to send us a new control. We have to replace it. I don't know if they're going to pay for the electrician to do that. And we will see. They have not confirmed what's going on. Now I'm trying to cut something here and I'm having another issue. Look at this. Um, this is a roll of vinyl. This is oral guard. And what's different on this laminate? This is a, 220, a 210 Oracle vinyl, what we're trying to cut here. Every time we uh, secure and lock the roll here, we are getting, the material is moving towards my um, left every time I put the blade on top. So it's like going this way all the time. I'm having problems to cut the core, as you can see here. And this is all the mess that I got. I got a 54 roll. I was trying to split it 24 and 30, but look what we got. This is just a mess. Look, look all that. I don't know what's going on, what's wrong. Is it, there is a trick to cut this type of rolls. I have a uh, switch the control, the mandrel, left and right, and I have tried twice. I have taped the roll, and this is what I get. So, now I want to show you how, how this works. Uh, let's try it. I'm using the machine in auto, I guess. Manual, I think that's manual. When I push, the two controls and I get it closer, the lever start, the lever activates the, the shaft and that's how we cut it. So let's try to tune up, at least to cut this edge of the, of the core because as you can see the core is not being cut. No idea why. The blade is not reaching to the very end. I don't know what's wrong with this. And you know, all these annoying pieces on the side. Hmm. Okay, I think we got it this time after several attempts. How do you remove the, the roll? You take this, you lift it. And you kind of try to figure it out. No signage here, no signals, no nothing to understand what's going on here. If this is the first time you use something like this, you will be like really lost. So, okay. Then come back, put it back. Don't forget to put the pin on it and try again. Um, what I'm trying to do is to refinish, to at least use it. I think the roll is good until that part. I'm trying to recover this piece. Even you see the vinyl is pushing to the left. Let's try it again. Let's, let's do an inch apart to try to fix this roll. 
and just kind of a, on it, kind of testing what's going on here. Let me just put the phone on the stand so you can see better what's going on here. Let me use this thing. So you see me from far away what's going on. The cord is not being cut right there. I got it. This is a mess. Now, I'm going to show. My video you. got caught off when I got a call, an incoming call. So this is what happened. It's doing the spiral again. I moved the mandrel to the other side, and this is what I get. Hopefully. I'm going to get a good answer from Rosenthal about this and finally I will get the slitter to work properly. This is a Genesis G81. This is a Genesis, uh, let's see, it's hard even to read this over here, G862. From Rosenthal. So, make your own conclusions. Watching the video, we'll see what what will be the answer from the company.